Basically, I'm going to demonstrate inserting a link into a document or an appointment or any Microsoft Office thing. So here I'm, I'm going to create a, a, an event on this calendar. This is a test event. So I'm going to go down in the body and I'm going to I'm going to add what's called a uh, a link to a file. So I'm going to go insert rather than inserting a picture or something. I'm going to insert a hyperlink. And now I have this insert hyperlink screen and I'm going to browse for the file. So right there is the browse for file. And on my Z drive, which is on my network, I have a scratch folder. There's scratch. And a test document. And so I've got the link to the test document there now. And if I want the text to get this something different to be displayed, I could say, you know, this is a link to a document. And then in my thing, I have that message. This is a link to the document. When the user mouses over it, they get this um, funny looking uh, link there. But if they just click on it, it will open the document that's on my network drive. It's on my Z drive. And I can edit it and save it and do whatever I want, depending on my privileges, of course. Um, anyway, so that's that. If you want to change it, you can right click and edit hyperlink. And instead of, say, it, it now it shows up as a network share, unfortunately, it doesn't show the Z drive anymore, but that's okay. If I want to, instead of opening a, a file, I want to open a folder, I can just delete the part of this that is the file until that's backslash. And then I can go like this. And instead of it opening up a document, now it opens up the folder on my Z drive. So that's a scratch folder on my Z drive. So that's a demo. You can do that in, a, in an email. You can do that in a Word document. Or you can do that in a calendar um, item.